Hi guys, Bolt here and welcome back to some more episodes of the second Korean campaign. Um, we left off here where we had a, well, a kind of a setback in one sound. We still won, but we lost some good units. But uh, yeah, we are going to move over some units to Kai Sung. The uh, German units, that is. The Mars and the Leopard 285s and all that. And um, I will also move up some... Actually, that's enough. I need these guys to move over to Pyongyang and defeat those guys. I'm just moving those Leopards here since the enemy has some T90s and T72s and 24 Chan Mahos and some other very good units. So, yeah. I'm going to fall back with, um, with these tanks in the next turn. But for now, we will just buy whatever we can and do a naval battle, finally. Just get this one as well. Might as well. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Um, let's end the turn. I think we need to end two turns. Don't, don't push me into a battle game. Don't do it. Don't do it. God damn it. One San, once again, 33 tanks, 28 vehicles, 16 planes, 24 infantry. We do have Kute 90s and some very good uh, AA, but we'll have to fight with our helicopters again. All right, let's do it. Nothing we can do about this. We're just being pushed into the battle, so... 1200 points. Um, let's cap Sokjo right here. We don't need to cap Delta. There we go. Kai Sung. Um, I am going to play with a lot of Kute 90s. I'll just fast move those guys over there. And I will get some uh, good helicopters to go to the right side here. The Chupacabras. And I will also. Support those guys with some tanks. Yeah, okay, that should be enough. Let's also get some very good AA. There we go. I will move um, three squads of Kute 90s to the north here to block off in these buildings. All right, let's go. Chupacabras will follow or lead the way. The tanks will move up now. The AA network will go on top of this hill right now. Oh shit. Alright, let's hold that off. They're pushing us hard. Alright, we're gonna move uh, two squads over. Some helicopters moving over, but they will be killed. There we go. All the bombers. Shit, well, this is too late. Yeah. Goddamn. Not enough infantry kicked our ass. I wonder if we can just move up this hill with infantry from here. Let's try. Oh, yep, I think I can. Perfect. Oh, that's one slow reload. Oh, there come more bombers. Oh, 
Damn you. Kill him, close arrows. There you go. Okay. Huge battle here. We will just get some uh, some more helicopters. Another sea cobra. And reinforce this town in Delta. Nice. Let's go through that through that forest before bombers come up. These guys are totally out of ammo. Wow. We'll have to reinforce or uh, resupply those. Oh, don't die. Don't you do it. I actually did lose one. Alright, we're gonna move these guys downhill and rush them towards these buildings. Never mind. Alright, let's rearm the Super Cobra. Damn. J7 coming up. I hope he breaks left. He didn't break at all. Oh, we might get him. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Nice. Alright, we'll stop these guys in this forest and they will take care of any of those guys trying to cross over. We'll get the Super Cobra on the front again. The Sea Cobra will just have to fall back. They're winning at this point, in terms of territory. Another J7. I actually didn't see us. Impressive. Humvees will need to get in that building. Alright, 1600 points needed. Alright, let's just cross over to those buildings there. These helicopters are oh, not yet re rearmed. This guy is all out. Alright, that guy is all out of Vulcans. And we're all out of supplies. I am I am impressed. Okay, th that didn't work.
Alright, we need to quickly rearm these helicopters. We need 795 points. I'm just gonna move these guys over to Tenchong. Alright, Super Cobras are filled up. Alright, let's get some more infantry. Do we have more tanks? Nope. Where do you need us, sir? We're just gonna kill anything we see. Don't use toes. Pads. Yep. The captain and his crew welcome you aboard. Okay, well we have infantry moving up. I hope that's enough. Checklist completed, ready to go. Now I wish I had that fob. Oh well, 700 points needed. We can do this. We're just gonna get these helis to go over that forest. And hopefully find his, uh, his command. There's that fob though that we can capture. Alright, let's move over the forest. Some UAZs. Oh shit, the man pads are in range from there. God damn, wow, that was stupid of me. I totally forgot about those uh, man pads. Well, there's a tank in there. Of course, of course it knew where it was. Come on, get in the building. Jesus. How many tanks do they still have? Oh, quite a lot, okay. Come on guys, use those cargo staffs. Wow, I'll miss. Okay. That isn't doing much. There we go, there's one tank. They are having a bad time right now. Where do you need us, sir? I'm just gonna kill that fob. Actually, no, I'm gonna cap it. I'm gonna cap it, I'm gonna land next to it. Our command here is being. Jeez. Oh, they just filled it up with AT gems, didn't they?
all the AT gems. Kutay are still struggling to hit. Gonna land the helicopter behind the fob so that they don't see us. Hopefully we'll actually secure it. There we go. I just need enough time to rearm these uh, helicopters. Alright, let's move up. Helis don't wanna don't wanna rearm. Where do you need us, sir? How do they see these helis? Come on. Oh well. Let's just kill this this AT GM vehicle right there. Move it, move up these Kutais who are having a bad day. And keep missing. There we go. Gelicopters to the rescue. There's that last command. Nice. Alright, major victory, Super Cobras, the Chupacabras, Kutais, again we lost a lot of tanks, I think our entire tank battalion got destroyed, yeah, tank regiment has been destroyed, damn, wow, yeah, we really did bad in one son now, alright, we need this navy over in uh, naval sector Kilo, and we need to end the turn before we can use those again. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's see. Can we refit anything? Can we refit these guys? Well, we don't need to embark. Wow. Yeah, it would be good if we could refit these guys. 15, 15 points. Yep, let's move the leopards up to the up to Tai Chong and fall back with the K1A1 so we can fix those guys up. And then we will do so in the next one. Um yeah, let's end the turn. See what happens. Hopefully we can do a naval battle before we end the episode. The US Air Force gives you one of the most Precious assets, a squadron from the 37th Fighting Wing, that is to say two veteran F1, F117s, Nighthawks, from the Gulf War. We use them well, or use them well. You also have the squadron F15s at your disposal for air superiority. That sounds amazing. We definitely need those guys. Um, yeah, we're going to fall back with... The, actually, yeah, let's fall back to Chunjong, I guess. Why can't we not refit him? Sometimes I just don't know. We'll just keep them there and see what's up. Okay. Let's have that naval battle. Let's see what else we can take though. Oh, A-10 Thunderbolts, Nighthawks. Okay, I'm gonna buy those once we have Pyongyang. Actually, let's buy the, uh, the A-10 Thunderbolts. And the Nighthawks.
Okay, we're, we're good. We could use all of those planes to attack Pyongyang in one massive group. Okay, we're going to attack Naval Sector November finally after like a million, million episodes. These guys will go as well. They are more secure next to these guys than, uh, than being alone. Okay, we need to enter turn before we can fight there, so we'll just uh, we'll just see what we can do in Taichung then. What, let's see what the enemy has. 30 tanks or 31 tanks and a lot of airplanes. So we'll actually move the uh, Rafale up to Taichung and get the A-10 Thunderbolt up there as well. And the F-111s. Can we fix this tank up? Nope, not yet. Okay, let's do that battle at Taichung then. Sorry guys, no naval battle in this episode either. Alright, so Q5Ds and a lot of tanks. Well, actually it depends on how fast this battle goes. But I don't, again, I don't want to make these episodes like an hour long. Alright. We're gonna kind of do the same thing, but we are going to get two Rafales. We're going to um, secure this spawn with a command tank. We will also take over Bravo and Foxtra. And we are going to put some high beam 90s back here. And, you know, just protect that a little bit. Oh, Leopard 285s. Those are tasty. We'll get those. We'll get four of them here. And uh, we'll buy some A-10s later on. Let's get some defenses up here next to this command. Might as well get one of these. Okay, let's launch the battle. Unload those. Move the Leopards. Scramble the Rafales. Right, plus 72 in or 27 income, so we'll be done quick. We do need to have 2,629 kills, so. or kill all the commands. Let's get an A-10. Another one. Speed on normal, and we can see a command right away. There we go, that was a command tank. And I think he's moving out down to this sector again. Some uh, tanks moving down there. Let's get an A-10. Rafael's can evac and refuel. Let's uh, buy some uh, F-111s. And just nuke this forest here. I wonder how many kills we'll get with this. Probably only supply trucks. Oh, shit. We actually killed that command. Wow. Kills. Oh, we only killed two commands and that was it. Okay. That was like an ultimate victory. Alright, well, we need to end the turn to use these guys. Especially the, uh, the four Congos. Um, yeah, so let's see what we can do. I'm going to move these. I cannot refit these guys. That's, I don't know. Do we need, do you need to get like a strategic sector or something? Or do you need to go to an harbor? I think you need to go to an harbor. So I'll fall back with these guys all the way to Seoul and uh, rearm them back there. Okay, let's uh, end the turn once again. I guess this will be a uh, super extendo video. I hope we don't have to fight there. I will R&R &R all of these planes. Okay, they're already good. Alright, the super retard will go to Naval Sector November. Um, the enemy does have a lot of planes, so we will also get the Rafales out there. And the KF-16s. And that should be more than enough. We do have 400 points. I'm just going to 
get all the marines possible here. Let's get those. Airborne supplies. Might as well. Lightning Brigade attack helicopter. Mm, not really necessary, is it? We'll buy it. We'll still buy it. Just move it over to Wanju. We don't really need supplies or supply ships, but we'll get them anyway. And move them over to Naval Sector Foxtrot. Okay, never mind. All right, let's see. Can we move them or use them? Yes, we can. Naval Sector November. Finally, like this is, I believe, episode 20 or something. I, I, I forgot counting them. But, yeah, we have four Congos, Pohangs, Donghais, OHPs, Pegasus. Those are going to be a huge help. Um, Chamseries for defense and uh, super retards. Enemy has two Uds, two Savs, a lot of planes, three Terran tools, three Nanushkas, and a few more planes and MiG-31s. So, uh, let's launch the battle and defeat this Navy and move up to Naval Sector, whatever that was. All right. Wow, we're beginning with 2,000 points. Okay. All right, I'm going to actually start off with a tip. If you... Where's my Congo? Oh, you got to be kidding me. No Congos? Damn. Oh, well, we cannot, we cannot go back. If you put, like, your ship somewhere here and... Let's say the enemy is right here, so it sees your ship. Just put some chamseries like behind cover, like that. So that when the enemies target your ship and they fire ASMs, these chamseries who are in cover will shoot down most of those ASMs before it even gets into sea with range of the ship they're firing at. This is a really good target or really good tip and it helped uh, me survive a lot of naval battles. So I'm going to actually do that in case of a, instead of an Oliver Hazard parry, I'm going to put a Hatsuyuki down, which can defend itself a little bit more. Sad thing that we don't have those Congos, actually, I'm so stupid. Jesus, we have an entire scroll bar here. Damn. Delete. That's, that's pretty sick that we have a scroll bar like that. I'll just get three Congos. Actually, let's just get a fourth Congo. Put that elite one here. These guys will just stay here in the back and uh, defense, defend against anything that might be coming from that side. And I will put some chamseries next to them. And I will put a chamsery right next to this Congo here just to give it that little bit of extra support. Okay, well, this is the naval battle that we have been waiting for and respond to four Congos straight away, so that's how this goes. And for the people that are wondering what the Congo is, it's a destroyer. That's a pretty beast destroyer, actually. And I've seen how big this cannon is in real life. It's it's just huge. And also the goalkeepers are just massive. That's what the COs are called, goalkeepers. Alright. Nothing yet. I'm gonna actually get one of these SHs as recon. They have exceptional see optics. Oh, there's an Ululi right there. Need a guardian angel? Wow, plus 27 income? Holy shit. Okay. Well, we have bought all the um, all the uh, Congos we can. I'm actually going to buy some of these Pohangs. Let's just put them in the back here. And these guys can can intercept missiles at a pretty long range. Really good sea whiz. Alright, so we have a Tarantul and an Udoloi. Udoloi is also destroyed if you wondered. Nothing on the right side. Okay, I'm gonna actually get some STRBs now. Alright. 
Alright, as soon as those STRVs arrive, I'm gonna push in. Let's just get closer with our SH. We're just gaining an insane amount of points. Alright, let's put some good ships down on the right side as well. Some Pohangs to uh, help this Congo out. There we go. Right, one more STRB needed. There we go. That's group number four. Okay, we're gonna push up. Alright. Udalo is actually firing, so we're gonna wait for him to deplete all of those missiles. We're gonna turn the champs three sideways, including the Pohang. There we go. Wow, it actually killed the Chamsuri. We'll have to replenish that straight away. It's going for this one now. Alright, that was lucky. There goes that helicopter. Alright, I think that's the last volley. It fires four volleys of two, eight missiles total. Alright, that was that. Alright, let's go. Now the Terran tool is getting ready to fire. The Terran tool also... Okay, the Terran tool has two volleys of two, four missiles total. This guy's actually badly hit. Oh, this guy's hit as well. I'm gonna get some Moonus. Trained Moonus? What the hell does that have? Does it, uh, I don't know. Sovereignty is moving in from the flank. I'm gonna get some uh, Hatsuyukis here. Uh, let's turn off those. Four, five, six. Yeah, you're never gonna hit Sovremi like that. Alright, let's turn him broadside. Oh, the Pohang's in deep shit. Let's move this Chamsuri over there. And I will turn on these Congos and attack that Uloi. So turn off weapons, turn on weapons, attack. Let's hope this does something. Come on, at least one hit? Nope. Alright, stop. Turn on weapons. Okay, perfect timing. Yep, this is gonna hit. There we go. Two hits. Three hits. Good. Alright, the Congos are out of ammunition. We're gonna move closer now. The Pohangs will... Uh, Pohangs will attack that Sov Remini, actually. I'm gonna get some... Uh, I'm gonna get some Pegasus to deal with that. Actually, let's just move these guys out. There we go. Raider operator killed. Okay, let's attack that uh, Congo. Or Udoloi. Chamsuris can go back since he's out of uh, ASMs. Officer injured on the deck. We're gonna get some more ships out. Four Hatsuyukis would do. Wow, he's taking some heavy hits. Yep. There we go. So Vremni is getting tamed by the Pohangs. That's how good these guys are. Oh, actually a hit because his radar operator is killed. Another hit with the ASMs. And these two hits will kill him. There you go. We didn't even need that. 
All right, I'm gonna move these STRBs down to this uh, behind this island, and I'm going to keep steaming forward with the Congos and the Pohangs. These guys will be group number one. This is group number two. There we go. All right. This will be group number three. And group number three will go to this side here. There we go. Udolo is dead. Weapon system reboot. Get some Munas. Tarantul's dead. We're gonna move the STRBs down here to kill that Tarantul. Nanushkas, but those won't, won't be a problem. Alright, Tarantul's gonna get some shit. Hellfire's away! There we go, he's dead. We have enough supplies, so we're gonna just kill that Muna. We will uh, keep moving these guys out. There we go. Attack that Nanushka with the STRBs. There come the Hellfires. And it's dead. Alright, those STRBs can fall back. I think they're out. Oh, they still have 3 out of 8. Okay, the Sav is firing at us, so we're gonna move in a bit. STRBs can't go over there, and we'll get some more ships because it's just we just have the most amazing income ever. We'll just get a few of those. And uh, get our supply ships forward. Chamseries are being fixed here. All of our ships are out of ASMs. So that's kind of kind of amazing. Okay. Let's see, let's actually stop that. Pohanks fire their harpoons. Let's see, how do they fire? Okay, they need to face the enemy, basically. I'm gonna make you guys witness the biggest ASM rain ever. Alright, supply ships are coming up. Perfect. Alright, let's uh, get those supply ships to rearm all of these. Let's turn off the weapons, let's speed things up very fast. We have some additional Moonas coming up as well. And the most important thing with a naval battle is put your shit... Or ships, sorry. Put those stuff in a uh, formation. Yeah, these, those guys were not supposed to go there. But yeah, put your stuff in a formation because that's really effective. Stuff with good sea was in the front. Very strong ships in the in the middle and something that can, you know, take take down anything that passes by. Just in the back. Okay, wow, this moon is all emptied out. Okay, alright, 
this guy is still giving this Congo some ammunition. All right, six minutes left. We need to do it quick. All right, group number one. Turn on weapons. Jesus, how are you even supposed to defend against that? Alright, let's send these pohangs. Alright, we're steaming forward. SDRBs will take care of that, there you go. We can kill the Muna, we don't really need it. We have more than enough supply ships with us. Let alone the ones we can spawn in. Alright, one more Udaloid, that should be the last one actually. Three thousand points, Jesus Christ. SGRBs, we don't want to lose those, we'll just fall back with those. Hatsuyukis are firing their ASMs, probably won't even hit. But this battle is more about the cannons. Oh, Udolo is hit with an ASM. Now you can see the power of these uh, Pohangs. It just wrecks. Gives you all the, all the errors you ever need and makes you annihilate the enemy just like this. Admiral Kuzetsov has been destroyed. We only lost a Champ 3 and a Pohang. That's how important it is to have a nice formation. So, that was that. Let's see. Oh, after his escort was destroyed, Admiral Kuzetsov was taken by surprise by submarine USS Louisville. The flagship of the Soviet Navy is going down. Okay, wow, that was a nice victory there. Um... Yeah, they secured the Northeastern Sea. We still have a big navy here with Ford Udolois. And uh, a lot of Nanushkas. But that was it for now then. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely did. And in the next one. I am going to do another battle at Tai Chan. And I am going to move this navy. Down to Naval Sector Mike. And. Uh, actually we can just. Yeah we're going we're gonna to take this navy down. And. After doing those. I will probably move that navy back and attack naval sector Oscar and take down Vladivostok. And this is a uh, airport, a sea route and a port. So getting that would just decimate the uh, Russian advance and make him lose any momentum in the uh, northeastern side of North Korea. So that was that. Hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely did. And um, let's just see if we can r, &R anything before we say bye before we part ways okay I'm gonna move these tanks to Seoul I think we can refit them here in the next turn um, it doesn't look like we can refit anything right now except for those guys here that we can embark and get out okay so yeah the plan is to get this navy here naval sector Mike uh, take care of that navy defeat the enemies at Taichung once again uh, we will leave Pyongyang for now as well. They're just they're just doing nothing. They're just totally surrounded, so they cannot do anything. And after doing those two things, I will move back the navy to naval sector Oscar and do whatever is there. And I will move all of these airborne troops towards um, Kilju. And after taking over Kilju, I will move them over to Chongjin. 
So yeah, that was it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely did. And I will see you guys back in the next one.